Hey everyone, hope you guys are having a really good day wherever you are in this world. Guys, welcome back to a brand new Freedom Tech Tips video. Now guys, I am going to show you how to put your face inside a thumbnail. Obviously you see many YouTubers out there uh, who upload thumbnails and it's got their face in them. Uh, I do the same with my channel and I'm going to show you how to do that here. So this is a video that I'm actually going to be uploading on my personal channel tomorrow. So I thought, why not use this as an example because my face is going in the thumbnail as well. But yeah, let's get started. So I'm going to click and drag the photo that I'm going to be using for this. Boom, there I am. Look at me, all shocked because I actually had fun in Destiny 2. Not the most amazing time in Destiny 2 right now, so this is, comes at a bit of a shocker. So once you've got your picture in there, you want to go to the right-hand side and you'll see the picture that you've just placed here and it's got like a little thumbnail next to it. Double-click on that and it will open up the picture in a new tab. Um, so to zoom in and out, you want to hold the Alt key on your keyboard and then just use your mouse wheel. That's what I do to zoom in and out. So yeah, that opens it up in a new tab and now we need to crop myself out of it. Now I just want to quickly say I am not a Photoshop expert. If there's someone out there who is an absolute A star, when it comes to Photoshop, you can probably find many, many ways of doing this. This is just the way of how I know how to do it. It works well for me. Um, and I thought I'd just share that information with you guys just in case you're new to Photoshop and maybe this could work for you as well. So you want to head on over to the left hand side here and you want to hover over onto the quick selection tool, which should be the, the fourth one down. So you want to click on that and quite literally just go all around yourself like that. So as you can see, it's already got, if I come over to the right here, it's already got some of the outline. Hold the space bar, by the way, when you zoomed in to move around. Um, so literally just keep on doing that. Just draw around yourself. Uh, and if you get mistakes like that, then just hit the minus button and then just bring it out closer to the edge. Photoshop is always learning. So when you correct something, it it remembers that correction and tries not to do it again. I'll come over to my head here and go all the way around. You want to get these little bits, just make sure it's all nice and flush. So quite literally, just keep on working it, go all the way around. Again, all these little bits. Now, don't worry if you're using a green screen like me and you get some of the green in there. Uh, we're going to be fixing that after. So the reason why you don't hold down the button and the reason why you don't just, you know, go all over uh, is because if you make a mistake, uh, you can just control Z it like that. I just made a mistake there, control Z, and it just goes back to normal. Whereas if, if you're making one continuous uh, line, then obviously you're going to control Z the entire thing. So making like individual um, individual movements and not just doing it all in one go just means that you're going to have a much easier time. Okay, that looks a little sharp there. So I'm just going to, uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. So I've got the complete outline of my face. So I want to right click in the background and hit select inverse. And now it completely selects everything it, as in just me so it completely selects me because all i did was i went around the outline of the background inverting it selects the outline of everything that i haven't selected and obviously the only thing i didn't select was myself so it's completely selected me press v on your keyboard to go back to your standard mouse and then just click and drag yourself out of that head it back on over to the main screen now this is when you're going to see my face quite large it's going to blow up Boom, <laughs> there I am. <laughs> okay, so delete the one in the background. We don't need that. Uh, control T to resize it. Uh, and we're going to place myself over in the corner. This is just a tradition that I usually do for my thumbnails. I usually have a structure that I follow. So that is what I'm going to have it to look like. So obviously I don't want my face covering up the text. So I'm going to click and drag it down below the text. Uh, and I also have like a hue and saturation tab, which means that my face is a little bit more alive rather than dead, like it usually is. As you can see, we still have some rough edges here. Um, this is the very basic way of taking your face out of a picture. And obviously you don't have to just do this with your face. This works with other things as well. Uh, but these edges are still a little bit rough and you can still see some green screen over in the hair just here. So what you want to do, do is zoom all the way in. And I usually start from this side. Head on over to your uh, eraser tool just here. Uh, and I can, I'll show you my settings here. I've got the size on 15 and the hardness on 20%. Now, decreasing the hardness means that rather than having a complete cut when you're erasing something, it actually smooths out the edges. So I'll show you a little example here. See this edge just here, and you've got some green coming out of it? There you go. See how it's like fading into the background? It just makes for a much cleaner finish. It doesn't look so sharp. And because obviously you're, you've got something in the background, 
it means that you will have it blended in nice and easy there. So I'm just going to quickly work my way around that, especially the hair. The hair is something that I always find myself to... I, I'm not too bothered if I cut off too much of the hair, purely because I need a haircut in real life anyway. <laughs> so, if anything, this is just doing me a favor. Uh, so quite literally, I'm just going to follow that round. And continue that all the way around. Make sure... Ah, there you go. See that green on the side? That green is completely gone now. Boom. Sorted. So there I am. The, the edges are now smooth. Uh, I'm actually going to move this over a little bit. Now, usually what I like to do is I like to give myself a glow and a shadow. The shadow is usually black and the glow is white. So what I want to do is I'm going to right click on my picture here that I've dragged across and then hit blending options. Now I've already set the settings on this. So I'm just going to select outer glow and th that's the opacity that I chose 80%. Um, and then I add a shadow to the back of that as well. Uh, again, I've had all these settings already established. I already sorted them out and it just remembers it every single time you load it back up. So opacity is 100% and obviously you guys can copy that spread is 33, size is 38. So I'm going to hit OK. And that is my thumbnail. <laughs> That's how I do it. Now again, I'm no Photoshop expert. I'm sure there's 20 million ways of how you can get this done. I'm fairly sure if you're a Photoshop professional out there, you're going to look at this and go, hang on. You could have done it this way, but I don't know. I'm a noob when it comes to this sort of thing, but it works for me. I've done it in all of my videos and it looks fine. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this actually gave you some useful information on how you can actually put your face into your thumbnails just like other YouTubers do it. Uh, it works for me. So yeah, it might work for you. Guys, leave a like on this video if you did enjoy watching. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Hopefully you learned something today and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.